I want to sell uh, Dow Jones uh, index uh, at uh, one six nine nine zero. This is uh, a limit order to sell uh, Dow Jones at one six nine nine zero. Uh, this order is not yet uh, filled. So I'm waiting. If you can see, it's going to be filled soon at uh, one six nine nine zero. Waiting to get into this trade using uh, a limit order. All right. All right. By the way, today is uh, the 10th of March 2016, and the time in London is 53 minutes past 3 p.m. In New York, 53 minutes past 10 a.m. All right, trading uh, the Dow Jones uh, index. All right. So my order is still here. This is a limit order to be filled uh, at uh, 16990. Uh, I want to sell the Dow Jones. All right. I will explain to you also why I'm selling the Dow Jones. Uh, the reason is uh, the activity that are taking place here, the trading, the day trading activities that are taking place here. Uh, this is a, a distribution, all right? Okay, so how do I know that this is a distribution? Okay, a distribution that will take place when, uh, okay, market participants are selling gradually, okay, uh, a financial instrument. During that time, the price will be oscillating, all right? And, but uh, the activity that is taking place is a distribution. And what we usually see a distribution at a convergent point, all right? At a key resistance zone, when the price reaches, okay, a, tar a price target. So this is uh, a distribution, all right? This is a distribution taking place here which means market participants are selling the Dow Jones index, okay, bit by bit. So those who are buying the Dow Jones at this lower point of the consolidation uh, should be very careful because there are orders here, okay, to sell the Dow Jones, okay, right here. There are orders being placed all over this place. This place is littered with order to sell the Dow Jones, all right? I don't need a level two to tell me that uh, market participants are selling. All right, I'm not trying to devalue the importance of level two trading, level two trading. But with the price action alone, we can figure out what is taking place here. And uh, this is a clear cut a distribution that is taking place here in this zone. Okay, because we want to know where and when a distribution is likely to take place. A distribution is likely to take place when the price reaches a target price level, okay, after a bullish progression, okay? Very often we see that, okay? And this is what's happening here. Another thing I want to clarify with you, you see this move here? You see? This is a beautiful price action. So look how the price went up. The price went up, you can see it went up nicely, okay, today on the 10th, very fast. And then it came back down, okay? It came back down forming a kind of... Uh, a triangle, okay, you see the triangle on the chart? Okay, it formed this kind of beautiful triangle. So that's why I placed my order here to sell. Some trader may say, don't, now I'm waiting for my order to be filled. Hold on, please, coming up. Order will be filled very shortly at 16990, uh, selling uh, the Dow Jones index. It's coming up, 16990. Uh, very soon, it's coming in. Okay, it's now once it's, it's good, good, beautiful. You see, you see now order being filled. Look, this order here is filled now at one six nine nine zero, selling the, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So I'm now in this trade. I'm going to determine where I will place my stop loss. Uh, hold on, please. One six nine nine zero. Okay, I'll place my stop loss uh, thirty five pip. I will use thirty five pip for this trade. So my stop loss will be at 17025, 35 pip, 30. Okay. That's it. That's my stop loss. Adjust it properly. I want uh bear with me. Okay. So I'm now in this trade after waiting patiently. Alright, it's good to wait patiently and be very, very uh disciplined because that's how the sophisticated traders are trading, they will wait patiently uh, for the price to reach a specific price level and uh, they will sell or buy. 
Okay, they want to be very, very strict, and that's what I'm trying to do here, uh, trying to sell like uh, sophisticated uh, traders. So now, sorry, now at 16990, you're using uh, a limit order, okay? For traders that are very new, a limit order is uh, uh, automated, okay, trading order that one will place, and as soon as the price reaches that level, the order will be filled. So here it is, my order is now filled, and now I place my stop loss, 35 pips, Right here, I'm going to color it also my stop loss uh, into red. Uh, yes, I use red, okay. So here it is, that's my entry here. I will change uh, the color of my entry into green. Remember my entry, 169 and 90. Can you see, that's it, and that's my stop loss here, okay. So I'm now in this trade, okay. So I was explaining to you, it's going to go down more. So that's why I'm willing to use 35p for this trade. I place it above this uh, prior high here. So what I was trying to explain to you, you see this triangle here on a five minute time frame. This is my entry time frame. All right, my entry is right there. So the reason why I'm selling the Dow Jones index is because you can see here, how the price, uh, you see, it went up and just turned around. Now this is what I say to trade. When you see the price turning around like this, you don't need my permission. Look how what's happening now. Look at that. It's now one six nine five six. How the price is running down very fast. Huh? Look at that. Alright? Isn't it beautiful? Alright, you see the, how it went down very fast? 34 pips very fast, okay? Nice. Okay, that's why you want it very fast. Okay, now what I was trying to explain to you is that see the price. Look, 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 my friend. What what am what are we talking about? Okay, very simple. Okay, very simple. Look at this price. The price went up, came down, blah blah blah, consolidating. Now look at this move here. Okay, this is a small money activity. Okay, very fast. See how it's going down? It's just crashing because now there are other traders doing exactly what I'm doing here. I'm going to close this trade very soon, and I will explain to you why. Uh, I'm looking for 50 pips out of this trade very, very fast, okay? All right? Isn't it beautiful, all right? So I've got 17 pips more left to go down. Now, the reason why the price is going down very fast because other traders are doing exactly what I'm doing here. I place order here to buy. Other traders probably have their order somewhere later below me. And uh, as the price goes below my key level, the other orders are filled, okay? So the price is just going down. Sell, 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 okay? <laughs> this was happening here, this candle here. Sell, 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 all right? This was happening now, okay? Now, the point I'm trying to clarify with you as a day trader, you see, when the price turn around, but now, is this, you shouldn't use this strategy anywhere, anyhow. Very often, you see that sometimes the price will turn around, okay? A key level, that's the, the, the point I want you to understand. When it turning around a key level. So, you see how it form a triangle, so price goes up like this, straight line, very fast, and then just turn around without any, you see, there's no, oh, no, no, no pullback, it just goes down, 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 it just turn around, this is what we call a beautiful turn around. You don't need anybody else permission. So you can gently, so you can see, you can say, you can draw a small triangle like this, okay, so yeah, you went out, turn around, and you can sell below this line here, and let it go down. Now my level, the price coming near my target, which is at 16940, seven pip, I want 50 pip out of this trade. All right, so very fast, 16990, where is it now? I'm going to come out of this trade now. If you slow down, I'll come out, okay? 16943. Boom, I'm out of this trade, that's it. Well, you see now, I'm out of this trade, 50 pip, very fast. Now, how long have you been recording this video? The time now in London, is now I'm out of this trade, 16.02, all right, in New York, 11.02. You see, so but there are more to come because the price is going to go down more, I know that, okay? One thing I can use also, I can quickly use this triangle here. You see this triangle that I draw my chart? There is a better target, but I don't want to be greedy. You see here? You see this uh, target here? You see the triangle that I draw? We can project it down. Okay, if I change my time frame now uh, to the hourly chart, can you see it? Yes. 
let's zoom into it. So my triangle is there. Can you see my blue triangle? So we can measure the height of that triangle. That's why it form on the five minute time frame. Now it did below that the, the neckline of that triangle, we can project it down like this. That will be the ultimate greedy target for the bearish progression. But now I'm out of this trade, taking the 50 pip. We can see there is also a support here on the daily chart. All right. So if we rally up again and I see another opportunity to sell, I will sell again. But right now I close that trade, I'm out. But are you paying attention to what I'm trying to say? Because the purpose of this video is not for public show. I just want traders to understand a few things. You see here? So you, you, the triangle, this is this is my blue triangle here. So the greedy target for this bearish progression, in fact, is somewhere here. One six eight four two. It's a greedy target. You see here? All right, one six eight four two. All right, you see here, that's that's the greediest target. I will call it that I don't want to use pink because I have another pink line on my chart, which is uh, the long-term equilibrium price level for the Dow Jones. So therefore, I'm running out of uh, color right now, but uh, I will use uh, black, okay? That's the 16842, that's the greedy target for this trade right now. Drawing my triangle on a five minute time frame and uh, projecting the height of that triangle on a five minute time frame Professional that are selling, who are very, very greedy, bearish traders, dirty. <laughs> now, this to make you laugh a bit because uh, most traders uh, do not sell at all. They always buy and they hate traders that are selling. But professional will sell and buy. It doesn't matter. Okay? So, the triangle that we have on the family if you project, you see the height of that triangle down, it brings us to the level of 16842. That's the greediest target. For the bearish trader, I just take now. But I want to go gradually, right? So now remember what I'm trying to do. Our trading approach is very simple, all right? We are looking for what? A high probability trading setup. If we if one particular day you come into the market, you look, you don't see any high probability trading setup, you can just go and do something else, okay? Be busy playing some Android games or something else, and I will save you money in your bank. Okay, high probability trading setup is the foundation of the trade. Okay, so you may ask now, George, what is your high probability trading setup in this case for that 50 pips very fast? Okay, I will show you, my friend. I will show you. I will show you. I promise I will show you. Okay, now we are on a daily chart. Okay, around. I have recorded a video recently that I posted at uh, George Trio channel. Well, I will have uh, uh, at least three YouTube channel. Okay, George Trio channel, two for in your week channel. Subscribe to all our channel because we are providing free trading education on YouTube. All right, it's free. We also have okay, Day Pro Traders channel, two for uh, Forex Traders channel, two for Stock Traders channel. So this video today, I will post it at two for stock traders channel all right so here it is so now you want to know my trading setup okay i will tell you now okay so what am i talking about all the time high probability trading setup foundation of the trade whether swing trading position trading day trading one must first found a high probability trading setup so what is my high probability trading setup okay on a daily chart we see a price going down okay it's going down going down going down from this low here and then rally up again if, and uh, display this uh, high here, okay? I don't want to move my pink line, otherwise I'll get confused later. I need all this line on my chart. And then you display this high here, okay? Lower high in comparison to the high here. And then came back down to form this equal low. Now we have equal low, which is a double bottom chart pattern. So the price start going up after this candle here, we will expect a double bottom chart pattern, all right? So how do you trade the double bottom chart pattern like a professional trader? So if you are not very sure, now go to George Trio YouTube channel, subscribe, and search for a video that I call how to trade a double bottom chart pattern like a pro, and watch the full length of that video. If you do not have time to watch the full length, 
I recommend to you to choose another day so you may watch the full length of it so you may understand everything. So when we see a double bottom chart pattern, we will highlight the low and the equal low. Okay, so we draw a line there. That's the first line that I have here. And we will also draw another line at the top, which I call this is the knot. So we will highlight what? The range of the double bottom chart pattern. Okay. We will also draw the media line of that double bottom chart pattern, which is somewhere between uh, these two lines here. Okay, we will also draw the media line of the range of the double bottom chart pattern. All right. But if the price goes above, okay, the nuts or the neckline of the double bottom chart pattern, what the professional will do, they will project, okay, the width of the range, okay, they will project the width of the range of the double bottom chart pattern in the direction of the price. So this is the width, all right? You like my accent? Okay, great. Okay, the size of this, uh, okay, the double bottom chart pattern is this one here. We will project it in the direction of the price. Here it is. This is a target price level. So what did I say at the beginning of this video? All right? Turn around at the key level, at the price target, okay? Now, the strategy that I'm using here, that's what we call a convergent trading signal. This is my favorite day trading method, all right? Convergent trading setup. Price arriving at destination, price reaching a target level. So, we want to know what was taking place before. Bullish traders were buying from the neckline here, and they set their target here in this zone, okay? Where I'm selling now. They, they set their target there. So, they are buying swing traders so many days. Dow Jones going up. They, they are hope. Their ultimate goal is that they Dow Jones from this level here, where my cursor is, reaches this level here. So, what will you do Okay, let me ask you a simple question. What will you do if you are a swing trader and you open your account, you notice that Dow Jones is in this zone? Will you take some profit? Will you secure your gains? Will you be happy to bank some profit? I think uh, at least 60% of traders will say, yes, I will take some profit, I will bank some profit, I will close my trade, and this is what's happening here at the conversion point. The gorgeousness or the beauty, all right, ladies and gentlemen, all right, of a convergent trading setup is that for the first time a bullish trader will sell. <laughs> Can you believe it? A bullish trader will sell a stock, a commodity, or a currency pair to close a bullish trade. One must sell. So bullish traders are selling now. Bullish swing traders, bullish day traders, bullish position traders that were buying, holding the Dow Jones. Some of them position traders that bought it all from here all the way up here. Okay, all right, they will be happy to take some profit here. It's a conversion point. Now, ask the bear that were willing to sell the Dow Jones or that were itching, all right, desperate to sell the Dow Jones. Now they know that the bullish traders will be happy to sell, they will also come in and join it, creating what we call, okay, a distribution right here. For a day trader, it's a beautiful setup because you want to get paid quickly. You see how I get paid quickly? 50 pip, very fast, at a conversion point. But now, this is my trading setup price. It's at a target price level. Price is at a, a conversion point, okay? Now, as from the daily charts, okay, I can go now to the hourly charts, okay, to see what's happening there. Ladies and gentlemen, pay attention carefully. Now, this is the hourly chart, okay? We are using daily chart, hourly chart. Here we are, we are on the hourly chart. So, something very interesting is happening here. A lot of traders will be tempted to buy here. So, this is a crazy thing to do, okay? If you were buying because of this consolidation at the lower part here, I feel sorry for you because you missed the point because the price, okay, it reaches a target zone. This is the wrong time to, to play this consolidation here. So, because I'm aware of it that it's at a target price level, I will instead play it here. So if it come on the top, I will sell, come here, I will sell. It come here, I will sell. Because the price is at a target price level after a bullish progression. The opposite is also true. If this was happening at the end of a downtrend, prior to reaching a price, a target level, uh, okay, after a down move, in that case, we will be playing it from the lower part of the consolidation. 
because it's a target zone. A bearish traders will close their bearish position by selling. Can you believe it? A bearish trader's buying. So for a bearish trader to close a bearish trade, he or she must buy. All right. So the opposite is also true. So in this case, the price went up. We want to be on the upper side. We will ignore all the move here. Another trader will take it up because you don't want to be on the wrong side of the, the trade. All right. So it's crazy to be playing it here because the price at a target zone after a bullish progression. We will have bought it here at the lower part of the consolidation if the price reaches a target level after a downtrend. Okay. But as this was happening on the hourly chart, you may be wondering, George, why did you, why, how, how can you be so sure to sell it here? Now, you see here, so that's what I said to you, there is, a, there is a distribution. These are sellers. They are selling gently, gently, gently. That's why I have the courage to sell here because I understand what they are doing. They are selling gently, 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 gently. You see how they play around fast now? That's how the small money sell. They will sell bit by bit by bit and once they finish to sell, now you see the price going down. Sell, 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 sell. You getting the message? Now when I went to, when I zoom into it from the hourly chart, I can go straight away to the 10 minute time frame so we can combine hourly chart, day, uh, we can combine daily chart if you are using a daily chart as a trading setup time frame. We can use the hourly time frame for the signal. We can also use, uh, okay, the 10 minute time frame for the entry. But I went straight away Okay, to the five minute time frame because a multiple time frame trading method consists of using at least, at least two time frames. So, because I understand what was happening, look at, but this move here betrays, okay, confirm to me that these are sellers. How? You see, the, everybody was selling here, I see here, selling gently within this, uh, you see, uh, the consolidation session here, you see here? They all were selling here, okay? But the small money, okay, these are highly sophisticated traders, uh, market participants that are, okay, involved, they, that are dealing with millions, okay? So it's a lot of money. So they can't afford to sell like everybody. They have to sell at the best place, at the highest price. They, are, they will say, want to sell at 17120, specific price. We are right here. We don't want to sell it here. We want to sell it right here can you sell it here now that's it so now they push it push it out of the the consolidation session and they just sold it and look the prior return inside the channel coming down coming down look but the gorgeousness of this move on the family chart so you understand this because the price just turned around it just went up try and run fast no interruption so boom, boom 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 up and just change direction set away coming down well i don't need any more permission and I, I was very, very patient, and I sold it here. I could sold it here. I could sold it here. But I don't want it to bounce into, okay? I don't want to sell it here and then start going back up. I want to see a true weakness. So price came back here. Now you understand why, why I sold it now, okay? I'll explain to you why I sold it here now. So price came back to the lower part, which is uh, an invitation to buy because some traders were buying in this zone. Okay, so he came here, they bought it, he came here, they bought it, he came here, he bought it. So now the price came back again to this zone. Okay, this is it. Another invitation for the guys to buy. So look at look at the response. The response was very poor. So they, the price this time from here start going up a bit. It just turned around. So I said, well, 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 if they are not prepared to buy again, if they are not willing to buy again, it means that they are prepared to sell instead. That's why I placed my order here because this was an invitation to buy that was rejected. An invitation to buy that was rejected becomes okay an invitation to sell. The opposite of uh, a sell signal is buy. Sometimes trader will will miss an opportunity. So you buy, okay, and you realize that you realize that you are completely wrong, okay. You misread the price action. Well, what are you waiting for? You buy, you buy, and you, you, you notice that you are completely wrong. Close the trade, all right, and look for opportunity to sell instead, okay? Or you sell, and you realize that you are completely wrong. Well, close the trade. If you are sure that you are wrong, close the trade, and now buy at the best place. 
So this is just uh, a quick video, a demonstration of day trading to show traders how to day trade like a pro using a convergent uh, trading signal. In this case, we are trading, okay, the Dow Jones index, who, uh, the price at a, a convergent point, the price is at a price target. Bullish traders that were buying, swing traders, day traders, position traders that were buying Dow Jones, okay, in the last few weeks, will be happy to close their bullish trade. Therefore, they must sell, okay? So as they are selling, the bearish traders that were waiting to sell will also join them, creating what we call a distribution. This is a distribution on the hourly chart that we have seen. This is my signal to confirm to me that there is a distribution taking place here. But I was quite happy to enter the trade after this move above the range that we have seen. This was the current range. Now somebody push it up usually small money the price was rejected above it this is a breakout above the consolidation so <laughs> now let's go back again to the family time frame so those who are on the family time frame price break above the range okay normally if there is a demand to buy some trader will place order above the consolidation here and say okay it's bullish it's a continuation pattern they will place order here to buy but those orders that were placed here were quickly, okay, sold down, okay, the order to buy. The spam money just sold them down. As the prime went up a bit, they just sold them down. Prime returned back to the lower part, and there was no demand to buy anymore, which is this move here. This one, okay? No demand to buy anymore. Normally, people were buying here all the time, but now nobody wants to buy. Then it's going back down again, okay? It's going back down here, okay? Now we we'll wait, so I'm now in this, I, I mean, I'm out of my trade already, very fast, okay? And it just went 555, 50 pip, very fast, okay? But the point I want you to understand in this tutorial is that I have identified a trading setup, okay? On the daily chart, okay? I want you to understand that clearly on the daily chart. If I did not find high probability trading setup, I will not be bothered to trade. Okay, so the price display a double bottom chart pattern. Price breaks above the neckline of the double bottom pattern or breaks above the knot. This is what I like to call the knot. Some people call it the neckline. Okay, we will project the size of the double bottom, the direction of the price. Now the price is at the target point. Those who were buying before must close their trade by selling. As a bullish trader for the first time is selling, to close a bullish position, the bearish trader will join them and sell, creating okay a surge in trading volume right here. All right, this is what's happening here. Now this was my trading setup. Okay, now the trading setup does not guarantee a trade. Now when I zoom into it on the hourly chart, I notice that okay, you look at the size of the candle. Anytime the the price going down, it's going down fast. Look at the size of the bearish candle. Okay, anytime the price is going down, look at this one, it's going to boom down. Okay, people are happy to sell Dow Jones more than they are happy to buy. So, you see, all the bullish candles have a, a shadow on the top. Anytime price going up, there are sellers. You see, that did they see the shadow of this candle? Okay, so you see the, the shadow of the candle, people are selling. So, that's why they are buying, but other people are selling. Okay, or anytime they go up, you see, there's all of them have a, a shadow. Okay, and then when it's coming down, you see, just coming down. Look at this bearish candle here. Okay. Now, again, on the hourly chart, we see that the price went above the range, which is an invitation to buy, which is a breakout. Well, but there was nobody there to buy. Price came back down to the lower part. Once again, there was nobody to buy. When we zoom into it on the five minute time frame, it was clear that it was time to sell the Dow Jones. And I saw it here right in front of you at 16990. Placing my stop loss at 17025 and quickly, okay, within 30 minutes, 50 pip after the trade. I'm now waiting for another chance to enter the trade because there are more to come. There is a greedy target which I show you, okay, all right, on this uh, chart, okay, uh, that the professional uh, are monitoring, okay, 16842. Uh, the price now, you see here, you see how it's running far? It's now 16891. Are you, are you with me? Okay, let's go to the, hopefully you see on the 50 minute time frame. All right, I could 
stay in the train longer, but I just want to, okay, be very, very patient. No need, you see. Okay, you see how he's coming near the target, the greediest target for the bearish train? Once it's 842, that's where he's going to, okay? All right? Once it's 842, okay, that's where the price is heading to. All right? All right? Also, if you look on this uh, 50 minute chart, there's a bit of consolidation around that level. The price coming near this level once it's 842. There will be another chance to sell, but right now, okay, I'm out of my train and I'm a happy trader, okay? You may come all the way to the target only to bounce out. It will be nice to bounce back to the same level probably by tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday, which is a crazy day for day trading. Probably next week you will do something like this, going back, and we will see what will happen, okay? By the way, this video is not an invitation to buy or sell the Dow Jones Index. It is a day trading tutorial to show traders how to day trade. The drill is very, the trading drill is very simple. High probability is set out, the signal, and the low risk entry point. When we enter the trade, we must manage the trade. Without a high probability trading setup, there is no valid trading signal. The mistake that traders are making, traders are concentrating too much of their time on a trading signal. Ignore the trading signal. Spend 70% of your time concentrating on a trading setup. The trading setup will generate a valid trading signal. Once you find a valid trading setup, now stay calm and adopt a top-down trading method or a multiple time frame trading method to trade it, all right? By using a multiple time frame trading method, if for instance you are wrong, you will see it because the signal will fail and you will know that the music has changed and you bail yourself out before it is too late. This is the end of uh, this tutorial about, uh, okay, live day trading, Dow Jones, okay, and uh, demonstrating to trader how they can use, okay, a convergent point uh, to day trade the Dow Jones index. If you have any comment, okay, a constructive comment, by the way, no spamming, okay, uh, put in the comment section. You have any specific question, all right, put it, all right, in the comment section, and in due course, I will uh, record another video, all right, to answer your question, all right. We are the TSTW24 uh, traders, okay, talking about live day trading, Dow Jones Index, okay, today on the 10th of uh, March 2016. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and uh, be very happy. Speak to you soon.